Today I am outside a very popular university here in Berlin. I get a lot of emails, comments asking me whether people should come here to pursue masters in digital marketing. I decided why not talk to the students who are doing it already. So let's go and talk to them. Hi, can you tell us your name and where you're from? Hello, I'm Elias Karolidis from Greece. I'm here in Berlin for nine months. Okay, and what are you uh, studying here? Digital Marketing Master. My name is Rui uh -huh. and I come from Mexico. I'm studying a master's in digital marketing uh -huh. and I'm also working. I arrived in February, so I think it's like eight months already. So my name is Yatan Vadva and I'm from Delhi, India. Studying my, I'm doing my master's in digital marketing. Uh, I am Buse, uh -huh. I'm from Turkey. How long have you been in uh, Berlin? in Germany? Uh, approximately for seven months, okay. this April I came here. Now I am studying at Digital Marketing. My name is Fazad, I'm coming from Iran mm -hmm. and I'm here I think probably one year. Her name is Easy. I'm studying here my master's degree in Digital Marketing. Can you tell us a bit about your education and work background? Have you worked in digital marketing industry before? Yeah, of course. Uh, I was working in digital marketing for five years uh, for uh, lots of international companies in Iran. Mm -hmm. And then I was working as a social media marketer, as a marketing strategist, as a marketing researcher, and then I got into digital marketing. I had a bachelor in applied informatics. Mm -hmm. But I was also selling olive oil. There was a family business in Greece. Okay. I have no experience about this marketing before okay. coming here. Uh, I was started my career as a lawyer. Oh, a lawyer. Okay. Yes. Uh, approximately for three years, I was worked as a lawyer in Istanbul, in Turkey. Uh -huh. And uh, after I want to change my career, I was a project manager in a digital marketing agency in okay. Mexico. Ah, in Mexico, okay. And, yes. Uh, how long did you work there? Six years. Started my graduation in business administration. Simultaneously, I started working at an MNC. Okay. I have an experience of three years in communications and sales. I started my own company with my sister. What was your reason? Uh, why did you want to pursue masters in digital marketing? Well, as I told you, I, I'm coming from a different background. Mm -hmm. I was I had a master degree in petroleum, but I always loved uh, marketing. In Germany, you need to have academic background because I think somehow it's important for some companies. Well, actually, I studied fashion design, mm -hmm. but then I always worked in digital marketing, but I didn't have the background. So I okay. wanted to go deeper in the topic. Like I wanted to understand the basis behind this. Okay, so um, so what you're saying is you have your own business and you wanted to, you know that it's dependent on digital marketing and you wanted to learn just to promote your own business, not for job, for example. Exactly. And because this was going very good, I okay. had to transition to something more uh, similar to sales. Digital marketing was a good tool for me. So that's your objective, to learn and then you apply it on your own business and grow your business using digital marketing. Exactly. Why, why did you choose digital marketing masters to pursue? Uh, I think that it's more international <laughs> because I don't want to stay in the same, same country for a long time. Yeah. I would say, yeah, digital marketing is best for that because it's like a global skill. Yes. You can go anywhere and work anywhere. Because this field has, you know, uh, has come up so vast in, in the few years that uh, it looks like I don't find any reason not to do it. Yeah, I agree. And uh, why did you choose Germany? Because it's one of the biggest economies in the world. Also because I started learning language. Mm -hmm. And I already knew the language before coming to Germany. If somebody asked me, uh, I'm coming to Germany for anything, work, studies, anything, I would say the first thing you do is learn uh, the language. Of year and fall. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that, but yeah. That yeah. <laughs> well, I thought first I, th I wanted to go to Canada. Okay. But that was far away from my home country and I wanted to have like somewhere in be, between. Yeah, closer, somewhere, somewhere in between. So far, are you happy with your decision to choose Germany over Canada and other countries? Absolutely. Before I searched some countries and some universities for this marketing, I want to be in Europe because I am from Turkey. After that, I chose Berlin because of the multiculturalism. Yeah, of because course. Berlin is a yeah, you yeah, see people from <laughs> everywhere. But <laughs> so far, are you happy with your decision choosing Germany for uh, your masters? Yes, I'm happy for choosing Berlin. Yeah, I mean, Berlin is an amazing place. Yes, but sometimes I had some difficulties about German language yeah. <laughs> because now I am learning it. 
do you think this course is making you job ready? So once you finish the course, you will be able to get a digital marketing job. What do you know so far? Hmm. Uh, only this course isn't enough for this. Mm -hmm. I know it. I chose Zinc Master because I have no background about this marketing. But uh, only these lessons, not enough for me because they are too theoretical. Uh, I should do uh, some uh, practical things. I know that in universities they're never gonna they never teach you the tools because they don't know them. Mm -hmm. Like we don't have any tutors, not here, not any other uh, like any other universities which have like looked a lot that the tutors know how to work with tools. They they come from marketing backgrounds, okay. and I think most of the time they're talking about. Marketing, marketing mix, marketing strategy, global marketing management. Most famous university in the world is YouTube. If you want to learn anything, you can search it in the YouTube. So basically what you mean is while students are pursuing their masters, they mm -hmm. need to, on their own, learn these technical tools uh, and uh, that makes them job ready. Just relying on degree and finishing the degree will not make them job yeah, of ready. Course. In masters in most private schools I've seen because I also have friends uh, who are studying in business schools in Germany. Mm -hmm. I've seen that they just uh, like teach you more of theoretical things. Okay. Not of the practical skills. So I really suggest people who are looking forward to come to Germany, uh, I really suggest to gain some practical experience first because that's when you can relate all the theory to it and you can mm -hmm. apply in the future. Definitely it's just about theoretical. I think people need to search for the tools and extra courses outside, definitely. Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> but the degree of course is very helpful because it gives you like the credibility to work on the field, definitely. And I think in Germany, generally, they put a lot of emphasis on degrees. For example, yes. I have lived in Dubai for a while. Mm -hmm. Nobody looks at degrees. I think in Germany, if you have masters, uh, it even affects the impact the salary you will be finally getting. I think they put a lot. Of it's helping a lot uh, mm -hmm. to get the theoretical background, mm -hmm. uh, but not so much regarding practical. I mean, for me, I didn't have any background, so it was very nice. But uh, now I have to go solo to search for more uh, practical things. From your experience or what you have heard from your colleagues and friends in your, um, in, in your course, do you think it's easy for them to, let's say they say, okay, we want to know the technical uh, part of it and we want to do an internship in a digital marketing agency or a company. What do you think, how difficult it is to get, in Berlin specifically, to get an internship in digital marketing? It's, uh, or a student job? Yeah, it's for sure more difficult than it was two years ago. Mm -hmm. If you have um, a knowledge of the German language and you can communicate, it's easier. If you don't, I'm not that sure. <laughs> okay, I would really say it is not easier. Okay. It is quite difficult to get even internships or I would say a work student which is called working student in Germany. Mm -hmm. It is quite difficult to get that sort of jobs in Germany. For that you have to work really hard, you have to customize your resume multiple times, I'd okay. say hundred of times mm -hmm. to do that and just keep trying. If they want to pursue a related student job in digital marketing, it's hard. Well, German proficiency was needed. I'm already working in a company, mm -hmm. but I had experience before. But I think also the fact that they knew that I was going through this master's degree, mm -hmm. it helped me to get the position. Well, in my, I think in my case, I can tell you that it was very easy okay. because I found the job luckily through a website like stepstone.de. Okay. But I know most of my friends, they're struggling in with finding a like something that is related with marketing because they don't have the language. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, some companies uh, also want German language and some of them want some uh, experiences. But I don't lose my hope. Okay. <laughs> I don't I know I will find it. <laughs> uh, I, I hope so. How difficult it is to get a student job or internship here? Even if it's not related to marketing, just they want to support themselves while they're studying here. I think there are a lot of possibilities and options. Yes. Yes. And how much do they pay, like, these kind of jobs on an average? Are, do they pay enough for a student to kind of cover all the living costs here? I honestly will recommend to have some savings before coming here. Mm -hmm. But uh, what you can get is between, I think, 13 to 17 euro per hour. Okay. And you're allowed to work 20 hours per week. Okay, I think uh, people need to do calculation. <laughs> I want to be, you know, quite quite open about it because not everyone gets to have an opportunity in a white collar jobs. Most okay. people end up in being a labor jobs because... Which is, can you give some examples? Which is like uh, working in a restaurant, uh -huh. working for uh, startups and company which are providing labor jobs, let's 
a delivering company, food delivery, okay. which is called Lieferung okay. of Deutsch. And other or it can be anything, like in a warehouse, sorting could be. stuff. and okay. Could be anything. Okay, I got it. And um, so how difficult is to get uh, basically uh, any be. of those? It's quite difficult. Forget about the white collar jobs, even the labor jobs are getting quite difficult to get. Mm -hmm. But do they pay enough to cover your expenses as a student in this city? Definitely. Uh, it depends on you. Sometimes you can find easily if you uh, maybe if you know somebody in the sector and you can uh, find easily. Sometimes I try to find these jobs, but until now I couldn't do it. A job, it's easy. Job. Related job, it's so hard. It's not easy. It's uh, difficult. Uh, if you try a lot, you are going to find something. Maybe you have to compromise. German language is very, very important. Even for the student jobs. 100%. So you would suggest somebody who wants to come here to first work on uh, your German language and then come here? Yeah, actually, uh, if you come here with a B1 level, it's much easier. And um, do you know anyone, any of your peers in your university or some people who have already finished this degree? Um, do, you do you know any people who successfully landed a job after that in digital marketing after finishing this degree here in Germany or Berlin? Of course, I have two friends that they finished their studies last year mm -hmm. and they found the job. Yes, I do know people. Yeah, many of them. But all of them had to uh, work on their own and uh, find uh, some other practical um, yeah, yeah, hey. and boot camps or uh, I mean courses, uh, courses. technical courses, yeah, yeah. or maybe internship or do freelance projects. As a student, how much money do you need every month to cover your basic expenses here in the city? Seven hundred euros, seven to eight, seven to eight hundred euros. I think minimum like one thousand euro. Uh, I am living with my husband and um, maybe for two person. At least two thousand euros is so, enough. Which is like a, a thousand euros for each yes. person. Yes. Things are going worse, so I guess maybe one thousand. One thousand euros that covers everything: your phone bills, your apartment rent, your food and travel and everything, basically. Mm, yeah, but uh, just to survive. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to know. And then it's subject to somebody wants to have a lot of fun. They want to buy a uh, sports exactly. cars. I can say 1,200 is a sweet spot. 1,200 euros. Whenever students want to come to Germany to study, um, the first question they have is they come to know about public universities and private universities. Can you tell me what are the main differences, one or two, and which one should they opt for? Actually, digital marketing uh, course in English in uh, public universities I don't think there's anything in Berlin. Okay. There are many uh, private universities that uh, are better connected with the working environment. Uh, I think uh, it's not an easy decision because public universities are for free, mm -hmm. private you have to pay, but there are pros and cons in both choices. Uh, the main reference would be, uh, I would say, the people studying in public universities, mm -hmm. they do not have time for jobs. Okay. Because the lectures that they have, and uh, it's like the House of Gaba, which, which is in German, which is the homework called, and they get a lot of stuff to do even after the college. And that is the difference between the private schools. The classes are less, the lectures okay. are less, uh, so they get more time to invest in other things. I think, for example, according to the things that I know, if they want to go to a private university, it's probably easier because uh, you don't need to know German and most of uh, German universities, if you want to go to the public ones that are free, you need to learn German first. Okay. And especially if you're uh, looking for something related to marketing, because if you're into something more scientific, let's say, they have openings in English. But if it's about marketing, then okay. it's better to, I think it's easier if you go to a, a that private makes sense. one. Can you tell us something about your business? Well, I'm an astrologer. I have a podcast where I share some information about it. And what I can do is consultations about letting people know 
about themselves. The name of my channel is This Is Yatin, where I also post my training videos about Germany, about Berlin life. So I would really appreciate if you guys would uh, show some love on those channels as well. Uh, so guys, uh, you can check out about his olive oil business online. You can check what he's doing, how he's using his digital marketing skills. Farzad here also is doing uh, digital marketing content around digital marketing and SEO. In the description, I'll put the link to his uh, LinkedIn profile, which you can follow. So guys, that's all for this video. I hope you find any kind of value and uh, you got answers to most of your questions. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.